Yo, what is going on, Heat Nation? We're back with some more Madden 23 action. And today we're going to be going over unique yet very effective money play in the pistol playbook. I have been alternating between the bills and the pistol playbook as of late and having really good success. You're going to see a lot of tips coming out from both of those playbooks. So, of course, if you like the uniqueness of the schemes, feel free to subscribe and join the community with us. But today we're going to be going over Mount Flood in weak slot open. It is unique to this specific playbook. You're not going to find it anywhere else. So, of course, the only downside of this play is you're going to be committed to the pistol playbook. But there is a lot of uniqueness and fun in the pistol playbook. I really enjoy this a lot. You're going to see a lot of tips out of this. But right now, we are in Mount Flood. And as you guys could see right behind me, 64 calls with almost 10 yards per pop. So, you know, this is a first down almost guaranteed every single time you call it. And with the amount of calls called, you can tell that I have tested it in head-to-head -head ultimate team type of setting and come out with great success. So we're going to be in Mount Flood right there. That is going to be our call. And then on defense, we're going to be going over a variety of defenses right now. We're going to start off with cover three. So looking at the play art, the first read on this play is going to be the running back. He is actually on an auto motion. He's going to go halfway to the, towards the sideline. It's going to call hike and then he's going to dead sprint towards there. And you're pretty much going to be hitting him almost every time that you're actually able to. And he is going to be open. And I want to repeat, he is going to be open on almost every single play. The only time he isn't going to be open is when the user decide to manually guard it. I want to repeat that. He's going to be open on almost every single play. The user must guard it himself. And if he doesn't, he's going to be open. I'm going to showcase it here and you're going to see it specifically and why he's going to be open almost every single play right now you can see the flat route which is the running back going towards the flat you can see the corner route ran by mcleod and then brandon Ayuk on the fade there are three routes going to that side of the field and if i go into the defensive side there are only two routes going to that side of the field so of course you know simple quick maths shows that three routes two zones one of them has to be open so Typically, our first read on this play is going to be the running back Mitchell on the flat. And if he decides to go hard flats, then we're going to go to the corner route. The hard flats still aren't even going to stop it, but it does hamper it a little bit to the point where we're like, OK, let's just throw it to the corner route this time. And then, of course, if he does do hard flats on the cornerback side, then the fade is going to be open across the sideline. So this is kind of a foolproof option right here. He must, as the user, he must go and play this side of the field because, of course, there, there's... Three, zone, three routes, two zones. So he has to equalize it with adding a third zone, taking one of them away. But And if he doesn't do that, then, of course, one of those routes are going to be open. As you guys could see right here, I'm just going to showcase it real fast without making any adjustments. Boom, he gets open. And, of course, you know, if you have a good running back or you want to get sticky with it, you can kind of make a man miss, turn up field across the sideline. But right then and there, that's an easy eight yards per pop without even trying. Just do it again, snap hike. It, it, it's so simple. It's so easy. Just call hike, throw it right away to the running back. It's really foolproof and really easy to run. I'll do it one more time. And of course, I'm going to showcase some actual head to head or ultimate team clips in between to showcase that this isn't just a practice mode type of play. And of course, if you enjoy that, feel free to let me know if you feel like it's just a waste of time and making the video a lot longer. Feel free to let me know as well, just so I can make them more efficient and a better viewing experience. You can see for you a guys. cover three. They do not get to the sideline fast enough. We just didn't get to Miles Sanders. Pick up an easy eight. So, of course, you guys understand the running back. You're going to see a lot of different little tidbits of the running back in different zones, but you guys get the, the gist of it. Now, of course, you have the tight end right now on George Kittle, which is currently blocking. As you guys can see right here, he's blocking. It is more efficient to put him on a route. And right now, if you don't have something like Hot Route Master, of course, I don't think any head-to-head -head or ultimate team quarterback has that. Or if you would like to invest in tight end apprentice, if you have a really good tight end, you don't have that, then you would probably want to put Kittle on an in route. That way, if the user on this play to that kind of just goes that way to equalize it, then, of course, there is a huge hole in the middle of the field that must be occupied by George Kittle. You just dump it off to him and then, boom, turn up field, try to pick up as many yards as possible, rinse and repeat. Of course, the user must go to the running back, so he's not going to be able to guard George Kittle. And if he does guard George Kittle, then, of course, you know, you have the running back or the flood side of the field. So real fast, we're just going to showcase it one last time. Boom, just call hike. It's so simple. It's so easy. A caveman can do it. And then you just pick up the easiest first down that you ever possibly could. OK, so real fast, we're going to shade underneath. So we got hard flats going on the sideline. And you would think your opponent probably he thinks he's slick right now. He's like, oh, my God, that's going to stop it. It'll hamper it a little bit. 
but you're still going to complete the pass and you're still going to be efficient by picking up five, six yards down the field. And then, of course, you know, once he does it again, he's going to be like, oh, and once he calls it and then it works, works the first time, he's going to do it again. And then you're going to notice that you will set up the play right now, George Kittle. And then we'll just call hike real fast. And then you look at that corner out. Boom. Crawl throw across the sideline. You can either rack catch it, tiptoe across the sideline, pick up another chunk play. So right now, if he he is damned if he does, damned if he doesn't. He has to equalize it himself one way or another. So right now I have the middle linebacker manned up to the running back. And you're gonna see the showcase of what happens when the user kind of equalizes it. One, he doesn't get there fast enough. So I mean it's still throwable, but two, there's a huge hole in the middle. George Kittle, toss it to him, turn off field. It's really that simple. I'll do it one more time. See the running, middle linebacker is going to go to the running back. You can just throw it to George Kittle across the middle and pick up your easy yard. You call this a couple times. Your opponent, he's going to get slick. He's going to think, ah, oh, I'll just call cover too hard flash. That cornerback is going to jump it. Easy, right? Well, not exactly easy because, of course, it's still three routes to two zones. You can just do that. After he dips down to go to the running back, hit Brandon Ayuk on the sideline and then try to pick up as many yards as possible. Now, Brandon Ayuk, while he has some speed to him, he's not exactly that fast. So, of course, if you have a speed receiver on the outside, that's probably a touchdown. Once more time real fast. You can just do it there. You see a zone right there and you just pick up your yards. It's really that simple. Because there's still, there's still only two zones. Right now, there's the deep zone right here. He's one on one side. And then the flat zone here. I mean, he, deep zone isn't going to get there to the streak fast enough to the sideline. And this guy is going to take over the running back. And then we're not really sure how he's going to react to the corner route. But, of course, we're not trying to go through the corner route, the corner route in this juncture. We want to hit that nice fade route going across the sideline. Just right there. Boom. Turn up field. And then try to pick up as many yards as possible. And, again, rinse and repeat. Our opponent tries to get slick here. We see it right away. Hit that fade route to lock it. Able to get a block, turn off field, and it for an easy score. And you guys can see the scoreboard right here. He rage quit right after the score. And of course, with cover two, there's always the deep middle of the field that gets open in between the zones. And right now, Debo Samuel is just going to get nice in between the zones. We're able to easily fit it in there. Now, if you have an elite, Athletic wide receiver in ultimate team. That's probably a turn up field to a touchdown in uh, right now practice mode. I'm not exactly trying to showcase touchdowns, um, but you can see how effective and open that he gets over the top of the zones. And of course, the user is going to be playing. Typ typically, the user is going to be playing the middle linebacker. So he's going to be busy over here. He's going to be over here trying to figure out something over here, or he's going to be going down to George Kittle. He's not playing that post route. He's not going to get there fast enough or and honestly, if he does play the post route, perfect, because now you have all the underneath routes that you possibly could want to hit. So it really becomes a user damned if you do, damned if you don't type of situation. And that's, of course, what we want on the offensive side. And right now in Ultimate Team, there is a huge man blitz type of issue going on. And I just want to let you know you're in good hands when you call this play. So right now, we're not even going to, uh, we're not bothered with George Kittle. We don't care about him right now. We're just going to showcase the fact that this is so nice. So boom. Boom, that, that, it doesn't matter if he's manned up. He just doesn't get there and follow him fast enough to the point where he can do something about it. He's even lined up on that side of the field and he's just not doing anything. Now, I do want to recommend that you run this to the wide side of the field. That way your running back has more room to really run down the sidelines. And if you know, you know, he, if you know that safety is going to be on one side, you might as well just flip the play and throw it to the other side to make sure that safety has to go even across the field to really get his you know ability or even chance to make a tackle which he won't be able to by then you'll have a uh, much bigger chance for a bigger game real fast showcasing some man blitz you can see that safety come across the field nowhere near fast enough able to pick up some easy yards and usually with man defense a texas route ran by george Kittle is going to be a man and that's why i kind of like tight end apprentice a little bit when i do have 
or when I am planning on running this formation because I could put him on a Texas route instead of an in route because sometimes an in route doesn't consistently beat man a Texas route does a much better job towards it so you know I'm just gonna call a hike even if they're not really blocking everybody and sending everybody you can just kind of throw it to him real fast and then break a tackle make a man miss and pick up some nice yards so realistically if they are man blitzing you don't have much time in the pocket if you're choosing not to block either George Kittle Mitchell and all that so you do have to make reads kind of fast and quick that's why I like having these short intermediate routes for you to throw to like George Kittle for example just toss it to him pick up quick five yards you could put him on like I said the Texas route and try to get a little wiggly there of course, if you have the time in the pocket, or if you have a little bit more time in the pocket, you can hit the post route. Now, if you feel like you need a little bit more time in the pocket, you could block George Kittle and then put Debo Samuel on a slant. That way you have a little bit of a more consistent man beater on the outside and something that is a little bit more quick hitter because, I mean, they are blitzing, so you're just not going to have that much time in the pocket. So assuming the man the user took that away, just hit that slant. You can possession catch it, rack it, do whatever you would like. What's great about this as well is that it just takes very little adjustments to get going is that you can kind of quick hike your opponent, just one adjustment, put him on a slant, George Kittle on a route, and then you call hike, and then you can just kind of quick hike before your opponent can really do anything about it. That way, if he's doing adjustments and he forgets that, oh shoot, I got to manually guard the running back, you can just kind of rinse and repeat that call real fast and really punish him for it. When he's absolutely set on the running back, remember you still got that backside post that you could hit for an easy score course i don't want to take up too much of your guys's time but i think this play is really good really efficient and i think i might have forgotten to showcase the post and cover three in that zone right there you could really get the opponent in that soft spot if he really sells out to the flood concept on the right side of the field Debo Samuel will get open on that post but you do have to be careful to not throw it too late because if you do that middle safety will come and jump it now that is going to be your fair warning but this play i think is very efficient very effective a lot of fun to use and it really tilts the opponent and it is of course one probably the one of the last remnants of pistol spread offense that i ran in my ebook last year so of course if you enjoyed the video feel free to like and subscribe there's gonna be a lot of tips out of the pistol and buffalo bills playbook and i'll probably scrimple is probably sprinkle in some some defensive tips if you guys really want to see i will probably start some gameplay action soon first i kind of want to get my feet wet get my ultimate team actually up and running it's not very good at this moment i am definitely running on scheme over team mentality uh, but other than that hey good luck everybody